Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video we are going to take a close look at the Gravastar Pro Bluetooth speaker. But before we're going to do the review, I just want to point out they sent me this product to review and my opinion will always be my personal opinion and nobody can basically buy it. But in the end, I just wanted to check this product out. So I was thinking, hey, they want to send one out, I just want to check it out because this thing looks pretty damn cool. And that's basically like the, also the main reason I just wanted to check it out, it looks really interesting. It looks freaking badass. It weighs a ton and everything points out that it can be a very interesting product so I just wanted to accept it and check it out over here. It comes with a cable, a Type-C to jack cable so you can just connect your telephone or something else with an old school jack. It comes with a paper manual like always but it doesn't have like a lot of information in it. Do have like some explanation and then we have like the cable the type c to usb but there's no charger so you need to get yourself an own charger so out of the box this is basically how it looks because you need to unfold the little feet at the bottom so it is the only thing you need to do and also this feels like a very nice quality it looks kind of fragile but it isn't so over here like the gravistar the first impression is like when i'm holding it in my hands this thing is absolutely gorgeous it looks amazing and also like the main reason i just want to review it here on the channel because this thing looks badass but you're paying a lot of money for it and the question remains how is it with the audio quality it looks cool in your gaming setup and of course this thing is just epic to have in my collection but then it's the question what can you do with it would you have like function keys like bluetooth connection rgb light up pause but when it comes to the physical buttons on the device itself, it's very limited. We do have like beautiful breathing RGB light up feature. If you're going to display this Bluetooth speaker between your collectibles, I think it will stand out absolutely epic. Over here you can just basically also turn it on. You can also have the option to turn off the light if you want to, so if you don't like it at all. Of course I think that's one of the awesome features. One of those minor things that I like are the Budok sounds. You know like it doesn't sound like a cheap China speaker with the weird voices or any like weird ripoff sound from a GBL. No, this is like their unique product in that way. It makes it like more than like a very cool thing to have. If you're going to hold the button, basically it turns off the LEDs. But also what you can do is just change it to one single color if you don't like have the RGB breathing in and out or fading in and out effect. Pressing it twice, basically what you're going to get is that you're going to turn off and on the fade in fade out effect. We also can basically like mess around with the volume of the speaker by basically touching it at the top. I think it's a very cool feature and very sensitive. Now let's connect it with my telephone because that's going to be like super easy. So the only thing you need to do is connect to the Bluetooth. You need to power it on or activate the Bluetooth functionality so it's going to start searching. And that's the thing that you only need to do. When everything has been set, the next thing we need to do is go to the Bluetooth settings. Navigate over here, you can see the blinking LED, so basically it's searching now, that's the indication. It will take some time sometimes, depending on what forum you're having. But when it's done, it will show up over here, and you can connect it, and that's the only thing that you need to do. Alright guys, so let's talk about the nerdy stuff. So this thing is basically the March Pro, and it comes with a Bluetooth version 5.0. Weighs 1.3 kilograms, comes with two speaker, and has quite a punch with 20 watts. It's not a lot, but it is enough for most people. Comes with 4 times 2000 milliamp batteries and give you around 50 hours of playtime, but take in some duration that with 65% of volume. Otherwise, of course, we're not going to reach the 15 hours. But still, I think if you have it like on the background, 15 hours is quite a long time. Alright, so let's take a close look at the speaker. I will grab my microphone, try to give you an idea how it will sound, and after the sound chest, I will give you my personal conclusion and also the final conclusion what I think about the speaker itself. Okay, so this song was a great example with the two speakers, with the dome speaker inside. You do have like a very good mid and high in it. Of course, a little bit overkill high sometimes when you're listening to certain music. But what I do like about it, just got a very nice point to it. It's not like extremely a lot of bass, but it sounds great.
So when you're looking at the price point of this Bluetooth speaker, you can even buy so many other ones that maybe have like way more bass. I think particularly with this Bluetooth speaker, you pay for the looks. But when you're looking at it and putting it in your collection, you can really enjoy this as a device itself, not even for as a Bluetooth speaker or that I think of it. In general, the audio quality is pretty damn good in my opinion. It looks very nice. It sounds good. But of course, like with 20 watts, you're not going to get like this massive bass. But thanks to the second speaker, we do have like a very nice mid and also very nice high. Yeah, overall, this is what I think of it. For the money, you can buy so many speakers that may be sounding a little bit better. But again, you're paying for the looks. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit the little bell. Come to the Wicked Family. And we'll see you in the next video.